friends. Welcome to Harmony Hills Home and Garden. I'm Jenny. We're gardening here in Baltimore, Maryland, Zone 7. Today is video number two in my Front Foundation Refresh video series. And today's project is to make a scale drawing of the Front Foundation flower beds. So come with me and let's see how to do it. Oh my gosh, it is a hot day outside. And so this is a perfect day to be inside working on things in the cool air. So I am going to make a scale drawing of my gardens. The first thing I did was I went outside and I stood in the front yard and I made a very, very rough sketch of what I saw. Then once I had the rough markings down, just a sketch, then I took my tape measure and I went out and I measured all the critical points. How wide is the wall? How deep is the porch? Where do the steps come? Where are the curves in relation to the sidewalk? And so forth. Okay, so I went outside and I measured the north side foundation. This is where the house is, this gray squiggly spot. This is the porch and the front walk in this blue line. The green line represents an approximation of the edge of the flower bed. And this little line of circles is an approximation of where the paths are. So, and also all these dots across here are fence posts and gates and things like that. So these are pretty fixed points across here. So I went out and I measured a bunch of these points um, in relation to each other. And um, so for example, I wanted to know where the, the furthest part away from the house is this flower bed. So I measured uh, from, uh, basically from the porch steps down to this point here, and then I measured across there. And so now I know where to put this point compared to the porch. Similarly, I used fence posts up here as um, mechanisms to measure from the fence post down to the path, then across the path, and then down to where the edge of the flower bed is. And I did that on all these fence posts. So I have all these measurements that will help me graph where this curve goes on my graph paper. So let's see if I can transfer this to my graph paper. This is gonna be tricky. I hope I can do it. All right, so my first measurement says that from the corner of the fence to the first fence post, actually this is the first fence post, is 123 inches, so that's just over 10 feet. So let's say that this is room to come all the way over. I'm ending about right here. So we're just going to have to kind of imagine over here. We're just going to, we're just going to say that we're going to fudge it a little bit and we're going to say that this is the edge of the sidewalk, even though we know it's not. Okay. So with that knowledge, now I want to start plotting some points. Um, I'm going to start with one of these fence posts or corners of the house and I'm going to say, let's say this one, this is the corner of the house and the first fence post. 66 inches down is where the path starts. So 66 is five and a half feet. Five and a half feet. That's the path. And then it's four feet wide. No, it's 46 inches wide, just under four feet. Three, four, roughly there. Okay, good. Now off of this fence post right here, I'm gonna go down 100 inches and that's the opposite side of this path. So 100 inches is, uh, what, that's eight feet eight? Is that right? Something along those lines. Let's see, what is it exactly? Eight feet four. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, just over eight feet. 
And so the path actually isn't straight across there. It actually curves down this way. A little bit like that. Okay, so that's 100 inches. And then 126 inches down to this point on the flower bed. 126 inches is 10 and a half feet. Okay, so I think this is roughly a translation of my measurements from my sketch onto my paper. I think maybe this comes down just a little further, um, but that's approximate. So we're gonna go with that. We're gonna say this is our scale drawing of the North Foundation. I'm going to say that the one square equals one foot. And now we're going to repeat this for the south side as well. Okay, so I have two drawings now, one of the north foundation and one of the south foundation. And they kind of go together sort of like this, roughly. And um, the first thing I did was I made copies of each one so that I don't have to mark up and lose the originals. So I'm gonna set the originals aside and I'm gonna work on these. Now, uh, the way to proceed from here, you could do anything, any number of things. First of all, I wanna mention, you don't have to do this on graph paper. You don't have to draw it. There are computer programs that are uh, purpose-built for garden design. Um, I. I have used garden design programs in the past. It's been a while. Maybe they've improved since then. I'm sure they have. Uh, but I found them cumbersome to use. You had to really get to know the tool. And it was really difficult for me back then to draw a curve like this on uh, the computer program. So you still have to do all the measurements and you still have to lay it out. And then you have to figure out how to get the computer to make this kind of a curve. So to me, it was just faster to hand draw it. And besides, I like to use my colored pencils. So um, I don't mind drawing, but if you like the computer, then you go for it. I don't know which programs are best. You may be able to find some advice in the comment section down below of this video about which computer programs work the best for garden design. I don't know, I like this method. Okay, so I have my um, copy of my uh, foundation. So there's a couple of ways I could go about this. I, since I have copies, actually, this is probably what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to draw in here the plants that already exist that I know I'm going to keep here. All right, so... Here are the, the photos that I took of the garden the other day, and I'm gonna use these photos to just estimate where on this chart I should draw these plants. So for example, the first thing that catches my eye um, is this big, huge uh, lace, uh, what is it, a lemon thread false cypress. And so I can see that it roughly starts um, about in the middle of this curve area and it fills this whole curve area right here. So it's roughly like, roughly like that. You see that? So I think that's roughly where that um, is. 
and then I'm going to use another color. I'm going to draw in these five. I know there are five of these uh, variegated varieties right there. Okay, and now I know there's an Alberta spruce. This kind of is roughly right here. Then there's the um, double knockout rose. And it's kind of, I can see that it's kind of in the curve of the sidewalk right there. So I'm going to put it like right here. Then there's the spirea, and that's a lighter green. Let's see if I get a lighter green color. Then I have this holly and the laurel. The laurel I know is roughly like that. And then this holly is roughly like that. Okay, so now I have a holly here and here. This one is, uh, let me see if I can, there we go. There we go. So now I know this third holly is on the corner, like right here. Roughly like that. Okay, so keep going down. I see there's another holly that's almost but not quite centered on this wall, so it's. Well, friends, that's about it. Um, that's how you make a scale drawing, um, and that's how you make your planting plan. Now, this is the what I currently have in the front south side of the foundation. And the next thing to do is to take another fresh one of these and draw in what I want to have. Um, I do want to make a note that um, the size of each of these circles, I tried to approximate the actual size of the plant, either the current size or the expected size, or sometimes, um, especially on the new plant, it's going to be important to know what the expected size of the plants are. But for now, I think I tried mostly to get close to the current size of the plant. And you can see there's a lot of empty space in here, and that is accurate. There is a lot of empty space out in this south foundation bed. So thank you for joining me. If you have any questions about what I did, please put them down below. I hope that this was informative to you. I hope you have uh, learned a little bit about how to, um, how to make a scale drawing of your garden. And I wish you all the best of luck in doing something like this for yourself. Have a wonderful day in your garden, friends. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.